everyone. How are you? I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes, or actually probably just a minute, just to see if people come on. That way I'm not going through some of my stuff and people are missing out. I have heaps and heaps and heaps to show with you today as well as um, I've got some news. So that's really exciting. Okay, I have one person on, so that's really great. Hi Jeanette, you're early. Beautiful. Thanks so much for joining. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just going to see if I can pull up um, the video so I can see people's comments. Once I put it down, I'm not going to be able to see too well. So if you're popping on, please say hello. And um, if I don't know you personally, let me know where you're from. And if, because this is going to go on YouTube later on too. Um, if you're watching the replay, let me know. And um, I'd love to know where you are watching from. <laughs> Excellent, Jeanette. That's so great. Hi, Marion. How are you? Excellent. I have some really awesome news um, for today. And I've got um, quite a few uh, little news stories as well. So I'm really excited for today's live. So um, I've got three joining. Let's get started. So I'm just going to go through my normal everyday things. Um, well, actually, no, let me tell you a little bit um, of things that are coming up. So... Uh, my daughter, who is in her second year at uni, um, she has been kind enough to help me out clean my craft room, which has been a huge job. And we've even been able to put some things, um, some stamping up uh, stamp sets and stuff up for sale. So um, she's done a wonderful job and it's she's pushing me now to do a room tour. So that may be coming out soon. I'm, I'm, little bit up in the air. I'm not 100% sure whether well, I'm going to do it. What do you think? Would you be interested in seeing a room tour? Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to let me know. So I've had a big, big week, um, both at work and crafting. And so I've got lots of things to show you, but I've got huge, huge news later on. I'll, I'll do that last, just so um, as people come on, you can see the news too. You're not going to miss out. So I'm going to start off with my racks and I've got two this week. Um, one from London and Ontario, so Canada. That's this one here. Oh, what one's easier that way? Um, Leslie Pergay. I'm not really sure. It's it's a hard one to pronounce, but Leslie's from Canada, and this isn't this gorgeous. I love the colours, and this is a stamp set and die set that I don't own, so it's really pretty to see it in person. And the next one I got is from Sue Wright, and she lives in Franklin, Tennessee, and it's using those, I still haven't got that camera worked out, it's using the hot air balloons, so a really cute card, and I really love how she's done the um, clouds in the background, but she had a beautiful big note inside too, so uh, thank you Sue and Leslie, they are absolutely beautiful cards. Now, on my YouTube this week, so I had... Um, Every week there's two videos. So Tuesday's card is this one here. It's using the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. And I love how this one turned out. This um, Designer Series paper is actually watercolored. So you can even put it in a frame and, and have it as a, a decor piece. It's really pretty. Lovely 12 by 12 piece. Um, the pack is 12 by 12. So it's a really great, um, pack to have and this gorgeous um, crochet ribbon looked really pretty with this card I think too so you can check that out both on my blog and YouTube and today because it's Thursday I case the catalog and oh, it's a bit hard with the lighting oh there we go it's using the butterfly gala um, stamp set with the matching punch and this one comes from page 46 in the annual catalog and it's actually a three by three um, card in the catalog and I've made it into a full size card so I thought that turned out really quite well it's a very quick and simple card so which I think are really good to make sometimes you know you, you need those um, stash cards that you can just whip through really quickly and this one's really pretty you can change the sentiment for sentiment sorry um, for a birthday card. This would make a really nice birthday card for a female, I think. So, yeah, so that was um, today's card on both YouTube and my blog. So you can go over and check that out. 
my Sunday challenge, the ladies have come through. They have made some wonderful cards. So if you haven't checked that out yet, each Sunday I put a challenge out to people and anyone can join. I'd love it if you joined in. Um, for Sunday's challenge, it was actually a flower theme. So you could choose either um, to do a flower card or use the color scheme from the graphic. So check that out. If you want to join in, you've got till Sunday. They were lovely cards, Jeanette, weren't they? Oh, these ones here. Yes, they were too. But the cards for the challenge, I'm amazed. You got you ladies are absolutely fantastic. This is the card that I made and it's using the uh, Seaside Spray. Yeah, I better look just to make sure. The Seaside Spray. And um, although that color's not really too much in that graphic, I thought straight away that this color looks like the Blue Moon um, Rose. So. Um, I thought that turned out really nicely as well. So go and check those ones out. Now last week on the Facebook Live, I forgot to um, mention a couple of things that I uh, mentioned the week before. So the first one that I wanted to mention was the paper pumpkin uh, kit. I have one here to give away. So if you um, order through me using the host code for June, which you've only got a few more days to do, uh, for every $10 that you spend, you're going to get a ticket to go into the draw and you could win this whole paper pumpkin kit. Now, this is absolutely gorgeous. I've done um, some alternative cards uh, for this kit and that is on my blog as well. So go and check them out. They're really gorgeous cards. The stamp set in here is just, it's great. You know, you've, you've got masculine um, images and you've got feminine Im images as well so um, a really nice set to have and everything's included the only thing that's not included was um, liquid glue so you've got dimensionals and you've got uh, glue dots so everything is included now the other one that I just wanted to um, quickly mention was um, the Daisy Lane uh, promotion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop the camera down to my desk and I can show you that. So one second. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around so it's facing the right way. There we go, beautiful. So this is the host code. This is also my online store where you can purchase those, um, any of anything that you would like that's in the, the Stampin' Up! catalog and for $10, you'll get one ticket. So every $10, one ticket goes into the drawer for the paper pumpkin kit. Now I also have a special with the Daisy Lane um, stamp set. So these are the five cards that I did make. And if you purchase the Daisy Lane stamp set, which is this one here, beautiful. It goes really well with um, Daisy Delight. Um, so this one is... $40. It's on page 23 of the catalogue. You will receive the five card tutorials for purchasing this through me. Now, if you purchase this with the medium daisy punch, which I don't actually have, but I've got the full size one here, um, which is what's used in this card. Um, if you pay, purchase the bundle together, which is, I think it's $61. Um, I will send you not only the five card tutorials, but I'll also send you the um, card kits to make these cards. Now, because I don't have the medium daisy punch yet, I've just fussy cut this out. But if you buy the bundle, you'll be able to um, punch this out yourself. But if you don't own the larger daisy, this punch here, don't worry because I'll punch them out for you. I won't stamp them, but I will punch them out in the kit. So if you purchase the bundle together, um, you'll have that already punched out uh, as part of the kit. So that's that offer. I forgot to remind um, you last week, so sorry about that. But that is for the whole of uh, June. So you've only got a few more days left of that uh, special. So the next thing I wanted to do was just go through, Stamping Up have um, some amazing specials for July. The first one is called Bonus Days, and they did do this last year. Um, for every $90 here in Australia, um, between when you spend between the 1st, of, 1st to the 31st of July, 
um, you'll get a $9 coupon that you can um, purchase product in August. So that's a really great sav saving. Effectively, you're getting an extra 10% off. So, And there is no limit to how many coupons you can earn, So, um, which is great. 1st of July this starts, and that'll be in my newsletter. If you get my newsletter, you'll be able to get a little bit more information. So there's that one. And then also for the 1st of July to the 31st of August, they've got a joining special, which um, is an awesome... I can't believe that they've brought this out. It's called Extra Extra. You purchase the starter kit and it's $169. You're gonna to get to choose $180 worth of product, which is essentially $111 of free product, which is unreal. You'll also receive a $16 coupon code to spend in um, September. So um, a really great deal. If you've ever thought about joining up, um, and you want any information, get in touch with me. I'd love to help you out. I'd love for you to join the Inky Stampers team. Um, so yeah, if that interests you, if you want any extra information, let me know. So that's some of the big news that I've had. So that's really great. We're gonna move on to, um, well, we're not making a card today. How's that lighting? Is that really annoying? I've got a new light. And I'm not sure whether it's playing up a little bit. Seems to be flickering. Is that right? Or is that just on my end that I can see it? Let me know, ladies. Um, so for our tutorial tonight, we're going to make this gorgeous little milk, milk carton. And um, I've seen a few demonstrators use the do what you love oh sorry love what you do stamp set to create this background for the cows and i haven't seen anyone do a milk carton yet so um, i thought i'd get in there and quickly and and do a milk carton so let's make this one so for this uh, milk carton i've used the love what you do stamp set as well as over the moon how cute is this set i'm so excited to be using this one and showing it to you I have the black glittered organdy ribbon. It's this one here. It's really pretty, nice and sparkly. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm also using quite a few Stampin' Blends. So because we're using the blends, you do need the Memento um, ink. We have Basic Black Light and Dark, Daffodil Delight Combo, Granny Apple Green combo and also the Petal Pink combo. So I'm using those colours here and I have my kit here, but we're also using the layering circle framelits as well. So these ones here. So I have um, Whisper White card and this measures, I've actually gone with a thick card. It measures eight and a half by six inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the cow spots and I've used this stamp just here for the cow spots. So I'm going to bring the memento in and I'm just going to stamp all around. I'm not seeing any more questions ladies so if you're um, asking questions I'm not seeing them, I'm not ignoring you. Oh, there we are, sorry. So it's flickering on and off. Did it get a little bit better when I turned that other light off? So I'm just gonna do a, a quick random stamp all the way around. I think milking cows have to be black and white, don't they? I know they, they're not all milk black and white milking cows, but let's go with the trend. So it is still flickering. It's not flickering on my end, like I can't see that it's flickering. Is 
this is a bit of a process, isn't it? Did you buy the um, Over the Moon stamp set from the catalogue? Now I do want to say I did see um, this done by a fellow demonstrator, Niner, and um, I have seen a few others do it since um, her doing it, but so that's our background perfect when we can use other stamps in our sets for something else. You don't have it Marion, are you going to get it? I think you should. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my stamp and trimmer in and we're going to do some scoring. <laughs> so on the eight and a half inch side I'm going to score at two inch. So it's pretty much two, four, six, and eight. So let's do that. Two, four. Six and eight. And then I'm going to change it over to the six inch side and we're going to score at two, four, and five and a half. So two, four, and five and a half. Now that little five and a half inch is this one right up the top here and let me think, one of these I've got to do a mark so let me just score really quickly, I'll fold really quickly and work it out. So that's my back. So the one closest to that little five and a half inch side and then skip one and then the next one here, we're going to mark just underneath um, that score line and we're going to score that at three so just making a mark under that first score line which is at the five and a half inch mark and I'm also going to move it over to the seven inch mark Nope, that's not right. Hang on. So three and a half. And skip one, that go that one. And the seven and a half. And effectively what we're doing is we're making a mark in halfway between these this two score lines and these two score lines because these are where we're going to do our little triangles to um, create that side in our milk carton. So I can get rid of our trimmer. I'm going to bring in my stylus and my ruler. And from that mark, I'm just going to create that triangle. So the second score line down from the edge up to that middle bit and then down to this side and I'm going to do it on this one here. So this, the second big one and the fourth big one. And I don't know what happened with my measurements. I must have went from the other side. That's okay, we'll make it work. And I don't think I said Nina's last name. Her last name is McMillan. Nina McMillan. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to bring my um, bone folder in and I'm just going to make sure that they're nicely burnished. When you make a box, you want it to be nice and crisp lines. 
Now that little five and a half inch, that tiny, tiny one, we're actually gonna go the opposite way. So we're gonna bring it back towards the front. Jeanette, you don't have it either. Mm. Hopefully I can turn yours around. Okay, so for our little um, strip here, we're going to take that bottom uh, rectangle off. So I'm gonna just bring my paper snips in and take that little rectangle off. And I'm also going to just notch um, off that tab as well, okay? These ones at the bottom, these large uh, squares, we're going to cut up to that first um, score line as well. So I've got some yummy things to put inside, but it's funny because I had to um, stick them down in my craft room and hide them before they got um, eaten by my family. So I'm going to bring some tear and tape in and I'm just going to put some tear and tape along that tab. And we'll attach our box together. With those um, score lines that we've just done, I'm just going to manipulate them to come back over the stamping. There we go. And we can fold our box together. Lining our edges up. Okay, so I need to find out where my front of my box is. So I'm looking for the back of the box there. This is the front. So I can label, oh, pop my um, bottom of my box in. I'm going to bring some Tombow glue. Your owner shop surely treats the safe. No, they're not, Marion. They are definitely not. Not these ones anyway. I sent Adam into the supermarket Oh, a few days ago, I'm just going to chop off a little bit um, so it comes together a little bit well. So I sent my husband into the supermarket to get um, Milkos, the little milk treat chews, and he come back with a big family container bag, <laughs> and it had Sherby's Redskins and milk chews. Well, my husband is addicted to the Sherbys, so they're all gone. And then the Redskins, well, we all ate them, so. But because I needed the milk juice to go into this box, I actually had to hide the whole thing. Because we don't have these in the shop, I think it's just a bit of a novelty, so everyone wanted them. <laughs> You'd think they were safe though, wouldn't you? Okay, so I'm just going to push the inside down to make sure that that glue gets hold. It's a really strong glue and it's a great glue for making boxes. It just needs that little bit of time to um, get it here. Okay, so we have our little milk carton. Let's bring some of those milk goes in. And I probably don't need all of them, but... So this holds, how many was there? Six. It's a nice little surprise, isn't it? So I've just got um, a hole punch here, and this is not stamping up, it's just a punch that I've um, had for quite some, while, quite some time. And I'm just gonna line these up, and then I'm gonna put two holes in so the ribbon can be attached. Shouldn't be this hard. There we go. There's one there. Now the one that I've got from Stampin' Up, I think it's retired now, but it's smaller. It's a one eighth inch hole, so I'm not sure if they've got this size available anymore. So you might just have to 
have one from your stash. There we go. So let's bring that beautiful ribbon in and making sure I've got the front. So I'm going to pop it in with the stylus. I found that's the easiest way to push through. Works really well. I'm going to pop it in the other side as well. That makes really light work doing it that way. Okay, then cut that off. And you can tie a, a um, knot or a bow. I'm just going to do a knot. This would look really good with the yellow ribbon if you're um, sticking with the yellow in the background. Because it's the daisy there, I wanted to do the backing piece with Daisy Delight. No, Daffodil Delight. So let's just chop off those edges. There we go. Now I'm going to bring my Big Shot in and we're going to do a little bit of die cutting to get that label going. So I have um, a piece of Thick Whisper White and a piece of Daffodil Delight. Now I'm going with the thick because we are stamping, we are colouring with the blends and I just find the thick white works better. And I know it's that one. Just got to work out which one. Okay. So it's the third smallest in the straight circles and the fourth largest smallest sorry in the scallops and my cutting plate on top Don't have the black sparkle ribbon. That's okay, Marion. You can just use whatever ribbon you have. Like I said, it could be just the Daffodil Delight. Can you... Ah, oh, style us separately. I don't know, Jeanette. I'd have to look that up. I have it from... Um, yeah, I bought, purchased it quite a while ago. Yeah, probably I'm saying that and you probably can't get it at all now. Have a quick, quick look for you. No. Maybe, is it still available in the... Well, the Simply Scored. Ninety-nine. No, it comes with the scoring um, tool. So the Simply Scored. But there's also an attachment. If you do you have the uh, pick, take my pick tool. If you have the take my pick, it actually comes with a stylus as well. So there's these two. So you have a um, piercing tool as well as a spatula. And let me just get the other piece. I don't use it because I use my stylus. When you purchase the Take My Pick tool, you'll get an extra putty and you'll also get the stylus um, one that you can attach. So it has the thick ball as well as the thin ball. So maybe if you don't have a stylus, that this tool is really good, especially if you do sequins quite a bit. Um, hopefully that helps, Jeanette. Okay, back to the the box we have our two die cuts cut out and I've got my beautiful little cow there I'm going to bring the memento tuxedo black back in oh oh well, there you go <laughs> you've got a stylus that's great okay so what we do what we want to do is we just want to get the cow's head and that gorgeous flower in let's see if I can do it Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so I'm going to bring my Stampin' Blends in and colour them in. 
So for the light daffodil delight, I just did the center. I wanted the, um, oh, this is probably moving the camera, sorry. I'm going with the dark one for the petals. So the light was for the center of the flower, the daffodil. And I love granny apple green as, as greenery in flowers and things. So I have my light and my dark. So I'm gonna color it in with the light and then I'm just going to create those um, definitions with the dark. There we go. So nothing totally exciting about coloring in. I'm just coloring. So with his nose, I'm going to do the light for all around and also his ear. I like this um, thick end, although I've got to do a bit of edging first because I'm not very confident keeping in the lines. So I'm going to bring the um, thick dark one in and I'm just going to do his inside of his nose and also his ear. So the light basic black, we're going to do his hoofs. And for his dark, I want to do his little tuft above his head. And also his spot to match his box. Perfect. So we're going to bring some dimensionals in and I'm just going to place a couple of dimensionals on the back there. Yes, milking cows are girls. And I could certainly have made a bigger circle to fit more of um, the cow in, but I think it looks cute. And I'm just going to use some Tombow glue to attach it to the box. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> I thought just um, popping it up once with dimensionals was enough. You could put another lot of dimensionals on the back if you really wanted. So super cute project, isn't it? Love it. And easily transformed into something else. There are so many images on that over the moon. Um, this one here. I, I'm denied whether to do the daisy or this little cow here. But yeah, super cute set. Okay, so I'm going to pop the camera back up and give you some news. Okay, so today, super big news, today I was, um, I had a message sent to me and I've been asked to join a team of global demonstrators um, to put together uh, tutorials every month and I'm super excited to be even asked but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get started as well. So we start in July, um, we are featuring the Daisy Lane where is it? The Daisy Lane stamp set and ah, I've lost it somewhere, but um, that will be our first um, tutorials for the month. So it's all on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. This will actually go on to, um, this video goes on to YouTube. So you may watch this already on YouTube, but 
each month we're going to choose a stamp set that's in the catalogue and go from there. So each of us will um, do a video tutorial uh, with that stamp set. So I'm super excited to be asked to be involved. Now we have um, Canadian demonstrator, uh, a lady from the UK. These are all demonstrators, by the way. Um, UK, C Canada, Netherlands, um, US, and where else? Germany. Yeah, so UK, Germany, Canada, Netherlands, and the US. So super excited. So hopefully you can come back um, in July and I'll have a little bit more details as I get it. Like I said, I was only contacted today, so I've been trying to get my head around um, what's involved and um, how we're going to do it. But um, it's an absolute honour to be asked out of the hundreds and hundreds of demonstrators in Australia. So um, absolutely astounding for me. So yeah. Oh, thanks, Marion. Yeah, I'm, um, um, yes, over the moon. I, I couldn't wait to to let everyone know. So it was great that it happened today. So I could let you all know today. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the milk carton, and I hope I've inspired you to um, maybe create something like it with a stamp set that you already own. Um, there's plenty of things that you could put on it on that um, gorgeous little treat idea like these sorts of things is what I like to um, create for my customer thank yous um, when they place orders so um, I find that these sort of little gifts and that uh, are great to do okay um, thanks so much for joining me I hope you've enjoyed today's um, tutorial as such and um, I hope to see you again all next week so until next Thursday have a wonderful week and yeah I'll see you all soon bye bye thanks Jeanette